Hey everyone, it's Tony at Shining Hawk Healing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is gonna be my first time on, actually sort of, sort of, on camera. Um, still getting all my equipment and everything together, so I just wanted to start putting out some videos so that you guys could get to know me, I get to know you a little bit. Um, I've been doing the animation stuff and that's really fun, but um, sometimes it's nice to sort of connect a little bit differently. So here I am. So I am a Reiki master shamanic healer. And um, shamanism is as old as time. Um, it's basically energy healing and um, so is Reiki. So I'm sort of a double trouble here. <laughs> um, I use the medicine wheel to, to guide me in my healing. Uh, sometimes I use it to uh, get messages, but I only use the wheel for energy healing. Um, I also do tarot. I, um, I work with crystals, I work with um, sound, um, healing, I, uh, I make prayer sticks, medicine, um, medicine wands, I, um, I do a lot of creative work, I make like little things like that and I love uh, stones and crystals, I love rocks. And everywhere I go, I, I tend to grab a rock and, um, and bring it home with me uh, if, it, if I feel something from it. And um, so I just wanted to sort of introduce myself and <clears throat> do a little reading. I know today was um, a really big day in our government uh, in the United States, which is where I am. Uh, but I wanted to see where the United States was actually um, as far as, sh you know, the chakra of the United States, where that is currently. That's Zoe. She likes to bark. Um, yeah, she likes to bark a lot. Um, so let's just... I, I pick a card for each direction. This is this yellow is for the east, the red is for the south, the black is for the west, and the white is for the north. The east being the place of the sun, grandfather's sun, eagle spirit, uh, the place of sight, along uh, uh, of uh, insight, the place of ideas, the place of thought. This is where thing the thoughts start happening based on what's happened before. And then from thought, you move into the physical. This red, like, like the blood and the fire of life, is in the south. This is where you live. This is where you were born. This is where you make mistakes. This is where you have your success. This is your life right here. And then we move into the west, which is where we examine the life that we have. We call this in shamanic medicine, the, <clears throat> the dark waters of looking within. Um, it, is, uh, it is also the place of medicine. So this is where we come to heal the, the, the wounds that we may have gotten in, in the physical of the South. And from the West, we move after we've done the healing or, uh, or recognized what, um, what issues we have we move into the north, which is where our ancestors and our and our um, guides and our angels are, and this is where we collect the wisdom for this issue. We collect that wisdom, and then we end up in in the east again, where the thoughts and the wisdom that we have here create thoughts, and then those thoughts create manifestation of the physical, and all, so on and so on and so on and so on. And that is the wheel. And I got these cute little cards from Etsy. Um, they're called uh, Kaleidodope. I don't know if this is backwards or whatever, but they're uh, they're swatches of the chakra deck, and they're by Crystal Banner, I believe. 
yeah, crystal, crystal banner, crystal with a K. So I'm just gonna shuffle these for just a second, and then I'll pick four cards, one for the east, one for the south, one for the west, and one for, put these back together, the north. So if we start in the east, what chakra message do we have? This is of course universal energy. And yes, this is the east. This is universal energy. This is this is um, this is the path from source. This is straight from source. So uh, this is the seventh chakra card, which is um, a, a violet shading because there are all different shades in this deck. So this is the seventh chakra and uh, it says universal healing. So as far as the United States is concerned, we, we are actually in a phase of healing and um, it's at the beginning because we're still sort of in a state of shock. But um, I think that uh, we're gonna be moving into a better place. And I hope that that's true. I hope that, that I'm right about that. And uh, I wish that for everyone, for everyone here, for everyone in, in, the, in, the, in the United States, for everyone uh, on the planet. I wish that for you, for us. The next card is in the physical and uh, it's the second chakra, the sacral chakra. And uh, that is all about relationships. Uh, our relationships are changing. Um, we've, we've come through a very dark time and uh, we need that universal energy to heal the relationships that have uh, become fractured. So, uh, wow, that's pretty powerful. So that is actually in the physical. This is what we're dealing with. The next one in the West, wow, wow. This is um, the, the first chakra, the, um, the Kundalini, the, the uh, base chakra. And uh, it's the wording, the wording on here, it says physical body. So we've all been through a very stressful period. And what we need as far as the United States is concerned, we just need healing. And our physical body, our, our, our actual, you know, the states, the, the connection, the, 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 the whole idea of being united, uh, we, are, we are coming to grips with, with what that means. Um, wow. Okay, so the last direction is the north. And wow, that's our third chakra. And the third chakra is the, the right uh, below the belly button. That's where you, you have that small voice. That, that's your gut chakra. That, that tells you that's your, where your fight or flight is. It, it's your intuition. Uh, intuition, um, it is uh, where, where your emotions and um, this is where we're, we're deciding where it's the, it's the closest thing, closest step upward to love. And we have to decide, we have to make decisions now about what kind of country we're going to be. Wow. What kind of country are we going to be? Are we going to continue to be the United States or are we going to continue to be divided? Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the reading. We have universal energy in, uh, uh, that's coming into our relationships, uh, asking us to take a look at that, to maybe to, to see where we are in that. And, and uh, we can feel that in our, in our physical beings and that means that we have decisions to make about what 
kind of entity as the United States? What, what kind of country are we going to be? Are we going to continue on this, in this uh, experiment of uh, democracy? Or are we going to chuck it and do something different? Hmm. The choices. I'm going to leave it there because this is really all that matters. This little guy right here, love. Love. Um, I'm just sending out love. I wake up in the morning and I send out love to the entire planet. I see it as a white light that spreads across the globe and out into the universe. The universal love that we, we know exists. We know that it exists. Um, so I think Zoe saying that that's all there is right now <laughs> so i'm gonna let that go and see why she's barking thank you so much for visiting thank you give me a thumbs up if you are so called and um i will see you again pretty soon take care bye